Well, it's Sunday morning, August something or other. Not much wind today, almost none. So it's a good day to take this plane out and uh, practice some hovering. Something I've been trying to do for a long time. And I'm just now starting to get a little bit good at it. So let's see what we can do. First attempt, not bad. Need to try to keep it closer. Wind's out of the north just a little bit, so it wants to push the airplane away. Try this again. so good there. This airplane is what they call a 3D airplane, which means that it can do maneuvers at or below the wing's stall speed. That's the speed at where where the uh, where the wing uh, where the air gets so slow over the wing that the uh, the wing stops flying. Not the engine quits like so many people think. There we go. You gotta watch, watch the air. You gotta do be on top of everything. You need to do all the controls, all at the same time to keep an airplane doing this. You get in trouble, hit the power. Being able to fly upside down helps a lot with this because sometimes you actually have to recover your airplane upside down. Let's keep trying. I seem to have a problem with power right away. Getting it... Uh, Getting it to where it stops and then bringing the power back in and bringing in the power just a little bit late and then that throws it off. See there, there, there. See I had to recover upside down that time as the plane started going backwards. Let's take a break from that. We'll do a few tricks here. Oh, or not. Well, I got this plane for a practice plane. Um, it came as what they call an ARF, which stands for 
almost ready to fly so the thing was when i got it the fuselage and the wings tail is already built and covered with that red material so all i had to do was assemble the pieces and uh put the radio gear in it uh, we'll have a look here oh looks like i'm looks like i'm done i see a broken propeller right off the bat other than that i don't see too much damage maybe no damage we'll see the receiver's been knocked loose from the zip tie the uh rudder servo connection has come loose the battery got knocked out it hit the tail the tail doesn't look like it like it tore off from the the rudder doesn't look like it tore off from the tail man i was just getting into that battery too oh well that's why you always bring more than one plane Let's just get back here and give it a close inspection. Guess I need to start carrying propellers with me. So, let's see. That rudder looks kind of wiggly. I don't know, something might have, something broke in there. See, that shouldn't wiggle like that. Something broke. Ah, broke the control horn off the rudder. Okay. That can be fixed with a little bit of glue. Looks like it just pulled out of the joint. Okay. Other than that, I'd say, uh, you know, considering I crashed upside down, I'd say I, uh, was pretty fortunate so anyway now you see how easy it is to get in trouble with one of these things and I'm a I'm what I would consider a seasoned pilot I've been doing this for off and on since high school <laughs> so I don't know what we're talking 17 when I graduated I'm 52 35 years Probably 20 of that spent flying these things. So, it can happen to anybody. Crashes. Well, that's enough for now. I'll shoot another video with a different plane.